Camera's rolling. Three, two, one, action! Another day, another dollar, getting no better. Write it down in a song or in a sad letter. Watching TV, praying that it won't be bad weather. Read the news and now I'm at the end of my tether. Walk the streets, there's no escape in this society. I tell you, brother, there's no virtue in sobriety. I don't wanna feel, don't wanna see, just wanna hide away. Just wanna scream, but there's no sound. Feel like I'm dying, love. Break down. making a music video for Dark Town Jubilee and we've got Steve Everts in the lead role. The yeah, concept of Steve being brought in was a stroke of genius and we have got a die-hard Man United fan in the band uh, in our right. summer John so he was well familiar with the whole um, looking for Eric thing. Well Steve is kind of like you know he's becoming like the archetypal uh, Mancunian isn't he? As soon as I mentioned him to the band the, they said yeah he's perfect. It's about some bloke who witnesses it just a bit fucked off with it all, goes out, gets amongst the riots, but he's alienated from it. It's uh, Manchester's <laughs> finest scallies. <laughs> and uh, they've done quite a lot of training because they were actually in the real riot. Next time, get a laptop. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're doing basically, and then the guy levitates at the end because he's sort of removed himself from it all, so I suppose it's a tale of hope and redemption. We are currently in Ashton Underline filming the interiors and exteriors of the flats apartment. Everyone's in the uh, flat at the moment, all 40 of them, so it's uh, quite cosy. Next is, we're starting to film the journey of Steve, kind of him leaving the apartment and walking down the stairs and walking out and going towards the riot. At the start they were breaking into a car with a fake brick and the police got four phone calls, so I had to ring the police and just assure them that nothing was actually going on. So we're, we're just trying to get enough scenes so we've got it covered that you know we can get into the riots and it seems um, plausible that he's he's walked out of his flat and it's got there, you know. So I think we could do that in two or three shots. <laughs> well, apart from it pissing down, which wasn't planned, we've uh, we're guerrilla recording. We're a small unit. Um, so we're just going with it. We've been waiting for breaks in the weather. Well, it has. We've been going out and filming what we can, and then we've done some in the rain, and uh, we've got a lot more to do tomorrow, so we just hope it all cuts together. It's a bit wet, actually, because it's been raining near enough non-stop since we started shooting. Uh, we had some hail before as well, just uh, you know. The rain's a bit of a, gonna mess us up a little bit with continuity, but uh, we'll see, see how we go. There was so many ideas, um, it was unbelievable. So hard to come up with a, a totally original idea. This was the most original we could sort of, this yeah. was the most out there we could get yeah. within budget and within reason. Yeah. So we sent in six or seven treatments and this is the one that they chose the hardest bloody one to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was originally gonna feature performance, there's no performance aspect uh, anymore at all, but there's so much going on with the story and it's going to be so many cuts, we just felt that it wasn't going to benefit the story. I prefer to stick to something that was a, a narrative, I think it's more interesting to watch and a lot of music videos end up looking a little bit generic, the band playing and then there's this kind of loose structure around some narrative that doesn't really make any sense, so this one should make sense like it's a short film. My cameo in the video, um, I've ended up as a riot policeman in the video, again just wanting to help out and maybe some sort of sado like childhood uh. <laughs> we're playing uh, the uh, right police that have been called to an urban street uh, where a gang has assembled and there's a standoff but there's only four of us yeah so but i'm sure, I'm we're, sure. Doing a hell, we're doing a hell of a job <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah he was gonna go in first <laughs> but we were uh, we did our part when the cameras uh, were off us and we were trying to you know, pointing at them and trying to get them going. So, yeah. It's a bit fancy, you know, sort of like running down the street, and they're not at them specifically, but you know, just sort of, it does kind of, you know, I can imagine you, you I can imagine how they're all fired up and they want to get going. And Right, police, they've, uh, they've done an amazing, they've come down from Newcastle to, to specifically to help us out on this. And it's kind of 
pretty amazing, isn't it, when you get think that, you know, this starts as a little idea in someone's head and then all of a sudden, you know, you've got 100 plus people there helping you out over two days, you know. Today is 28th of uh, January, it's the riot scene today. We're filming on an abandoned street in the middle of Salford and it's gone off a lot of hits, it's gone really well. So it's hard to get um, like 30 people involved. Um, for this, but we spoke to a lot of people, tried to get them interested. About 30 to 40 extras all pretending to be rioters in Salford. Steve Everts gets into the middle of it and this is where we did the green screen stuff and the levitation. So we're going to be keen in riot police, it should look like a bit of carnage and uh, then we move into the second part of the video which is people watching the levitating map. We're getting a lot of the green screen shots now to uh, tired off. Well, we have um, a CGI uh, guy involved in this one where we're getting a lot of um, green screen shots that they can incorporate into the shots uh, to layer them up, make them look more impressive, add things, change things. Right, it's did amazing. You know, uh, uh, I think it looked, it looked really good what we were getting. So uh, now we, we take it back into the edit and we move on from there. <laughs>